What's up? I'm back. If y'all have been following me to this point, y'all should know all the crazy stories that I've given y'all so far on how God has told me to do some, you know, pretty, pretty different things. <laughs> Whether disobedient or obedient, the will of the Lord still, what? Prevailed, huh? All right. If you've been following my journey and watching my videos, you guys can see that I always talk about the source, putting God back on the throne, because it is a book that literally lists every account of moments where I have trusted God or whether I have placed God on the throne in my life as this, or I have recognized him as a God who is on the throne in this area of my life or in this area of my life. Really knowing him as the source. I told God, no, I, I told God, no, I did. I, I told God I wasn't gonna do stuff a lot. I, I definitely told him that there were a lot of things that I was not gonna do, and he has made me look dumb ever since. To start this story off, my pastor did an altar call. He just began praying, and so when he got to me, he started praying, 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 and then he began prophesying and say, God, I thank you even now for the books that she is going to write. And I said, oh, oh, you might need to pray a little harder, Doc, because that ain't it. Who's gonna write a book? For what? About what? This is Okay, so after he said that, I was like, okay, he probably he probably missed the mark a little bit. Maybe need to consecrate himself some more. But I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not receiving that. Mm -mm. Sure not. About a year later, I believe so. About a year later, about six months to a year later, I remember hanging out with these two young women. They began speaking over my life in a positive way and, and we stopped in our tracks and she just began praying over me right and at the end of the prayer she said and i also hear that there are some books you need to write and i said i'm not writing a book <laughs> but i was like no i'm not writing a book that's no i'm not writing a book even in that moment i reflected and i said okay clearly there is something that you want me to say I just don't know what it is. I was only like maybe 20, 21. And I remember telling God, I was like, I don't even like reading books. Needless to say, I actually started to consider what to write about. And as I was trying to figure out what exactly do it, does anybody need to hear from me? God began to show me that your story is enough. I'm only in my early 20s. I, need, I haven't even lived long enough to have a real deal story for people to glean from. And he began to show me different instances in my early years, not even in my adulthood, but my early years, like when I was in high school, he began to highlight so many memories and so many instances where he has either had to redirect me or he has shown himself in my life as the source. And so I just began writing. And the funny thing is for me writing the source all the way to getting it published, I was homeless. <laughs> I didn't have no, I didn't have no house. I didn't have no consistent living situation. So you can imagine me sitting on somebody's couch in their apartment, typing up a book that I wasn't even sure was going to be successful. But I'm still writing this book because the Lord told me that I was going to have to write it. I finally finished it, and I submitted it to one of my pastors, who just so happened to be a publisher and she read through it and she thought it was an amazing book right and she saw that it needed some you know some fine tuning some grammatical things some editing and she gave me the price on how much it would cost and i said don't have that i am broke <laughs> bless his high name said as i was going through the whole writing process god had also told me that it was time for me to buy a house. Buying the house was the priority for me in that time. So I was like, the book, I could hold off on the book, but this house, I need this house. I'm tired of living from couch to couch and renting is no longer an option. I need this house. But, hmm, God told me that I also had to quit my job. <laughs> Whoo! If y'all want to catch up on that story, this is the link right here. You can imagine I have a fully written book, no job, but saving as much money as I could to 
buy this house. Needless to say, the house wasn't panning out at the time. And so, in a grand attempt of some type of faith, I decided to use the money that I was saving for the down payment on the house to publish the source. I said, Lord, if this house isn't going to work out for me, I can at least try to finish the first thing that you told me to do, right? Let's publish it, put it out there. It was like, it was weird because as soon as I let that money go, another job opportunity came. We began the publishing process for the book and I was still able to get my house. And the book is still selling. <laughs> the book has received so much positive feedback and I'm just grateful to God that he allowed me to experience that. He allowed me to see the potential of simply my story. If you want to be a part of the masses and see what exactly everybody is raving about when it comes to the source, the link is in the description. Go for it. It's available on Amazon and I promise you will not be disappointed because I truly believe that it is just for you. Well, that's all I got. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and I really hope that y'all are enjoying this series. And until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Honey, it's the subscribers for me. Listen, thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel and following me on my journey with you all in love and in Christ. And for y'all who have not seen this yet, y'all see the button, y'all see the bell. Don't play with me because as you can see, I be what? Posting. But y'all don't be seeing. And last but not least, like this video simply because you love me. And like always, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.